Hey guys, welcome to Canva Tip Weekly. Today, we're gonna line it up. We're gonna do some lines and some tables, and oh yeah, did you realize that Canva had tables now? Oh my goodness, game changer for a lot of us that love to make tables and sets of things in Canva. Massive game changer. This one's gonna be a shorter video, but I do hope to provide a lot of value in terms of how to use lines and show you a little bit about these tables. I'm a bit late to the party when it comes to tables because they did get released, I think sometime in January. And I think by the time this comes out, it's gonna be like mid-February, late February. But you know, here we go. So let's line it up. So first, there's two tools in Canva. Oh, let's make me smaller, bye. There's two tools in Canva that I want you to learn today. So first is gonna be the line tool, which is actually up here in lines and shapes. So when you come to elements, which I just tried to point, when you come to elements, it's over here in the left rail sidebar. A rail is like the rail, you know, like the left sidebar, we'll call it a sidebar. You'll click on elements and then you'll click lines and shapes and see all, and you're gonna see a lot of stuff and you're gonna be like, whoa, whoa. I don't want you to use these. Don't use this. Just hit the L, the L right here. Oops, let's do this first. Just use the L. L gives you a line. Just hit the L on the keyboard, gives you a line. I mean, you can use these too, that's fine. But I like the L. Using lines is really fun because you can edit them to your heart's content. So when you have a line selected, your top toolbar is going to change. That's something that's gonna be a theme throughout Canva Tip Weekly, top toolbar is gonna to change. So if I click on text, top toolbar is text. If I click on a graphic, top toolbar is graphic stuff. If I click on a line, you get it. Top toolbar is line. So you can do a few things. First, you can make this a really thick line and I think you can even like, Go a little crazy with what that means. Like maybe you want like, well, let's not get phallic, but maybe you can do like a cool overlapping, like that's kind of cool. I don't know. You can do all kind of stuff. You can go really thin. Um, This sort of thinner style, this like elegant, like that is going to be more elegant rather than like anything that's chunky, funky, monkey is going to feel more like bold and whimsical. So like I am a chunky, funky, monkey brand, not like the thin kind of elegant. Um, like this like, like smaller line weight. Uh, so go thinner if you're gonna be more streamlined, more white space, and go chunkier if you're gonna be more of like a loud brand. So that's obviously why I have the lines up here. So use those lines. Uh, so you have a line weight. You obviously have a line color. Make sure to use high contrast when you're designing. Um, you also can make things um, have rounded edges versus soft edges. So I'm gonna zoom way in for this one. Um, all right, so this is gonna be what we call a hard edge. Do you see how it ends in like a hard shape right here? This is a soft edge where it's rounded at the end. Obviously softer brands are gonna want softer edges. A softer brand would be soft pastels, less luxury, more like maybe, um, a younger type brand, uh, yeah. And then the hard edges are gonna feel more clean line, so very sans serif, very, um, yeah, kind of more hard. You also have a dotted line, or a dash, that's a dash line, a dash line. And you have a dotted line, yay. And then of course you can also scale those things as well. So if I want lots of, if I want big chunky dots, um, and you can use the line and expand it. So this is, let's get this out of the way so we can delete it. This is a post that I had on Instagram that did pretty well. Um, this is how I use the lines, like my main meat of content in the center and then I like did these little guys. So this is a line, look at that. I just wanted to show that, but now it's in the way. Let's delete it. Let me click on this line again. So you can see here when I grab the end point of this line, I can move them around, boop, boop, boop. Same thing with here. And then I can take the line weight down. Now I've got lots of these. So tinker around with what works best for your brand. So I'm gonna take this back to straight. And then of course you have some great little end points and beginning points. So if you wanna have it start as an arrow and go over to a circle, that's your prerogative. You do what you're gonna do with your brand. If you're gonna have a diamond ending in a square, fantastic. There's all kinds of ways to use them. Just click on the end points, move them around. I am using a line as my template. If you guys have been following along, this little top thing right here is a line. Yeah. And speaking of lots of lines, 
tables are finally here. Oh my gosh. I wouldn't re recommend using tables in social media because uh, they're going to be hard, to, you know, kind of easy to read, kind of not, although I'm going to show you a really cool tip with them. Uh, but you're going to want to use it in document design, lead magnet if you're comparing anything. So the tables are over here by elements and then you scroll down and here they are. They give you some preset ones. I just have a black and white one right here. And then you can edit them in a lot of cool ways. So I went ahead and added some dummy content in here. I'm going to highlight my top row, how you saw I just did that. Let's actually zoom in a little bit and move my face and move that. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to highlight this top row. Let's move me again. And the top row, I want the background to be this mint color. So it's just as easy as that, right? Let's grab that top row again by using the command on my keyboard. And I want the top row to be all caps, a little bit bigger. Cool. So you can select individual cells. So if I wanted to show you, oh, that's text color. Just kidding. Go back to black. This is the background color. So if I wanted just that one to be a background color, I can. I can adjust the, whoa, it's a little hard to select them. I hope they change that in the future. I can also adjust the table spacing. Oh, this I love. I can see all kind of design aspects of this where I might need that. That is really fun for me. And then there's also cell spacing, which is the spacing between your the, the items in your cell and outside of the cell. So if I make it really big, it's gonna have more spacing. And again, I don't think I have everything selected. I'm not even sure I know how to select everything. Let's see. Yeah, cool. Awesome. So right now I don't see a way to actually edit the lines themselves, but it's pretty easy to add, add columns and rows. This is a massive new feature in Canva. It's really going to help a lot of people start to create more content, especially teachers and more folks uh, or teachers or anybody doing any sort of education. It's going to make, a, oh, here we go. Here's the lines. Uh, it's going to make, oh yeah. And it's of course by cell. I want the whole table. There we go. It's this button right here. Uh, it's gonna help a lot of content creators create content, which is great. Oh, you can also remove the lines completely if you don't want them, so that's great. I'm learning this along with you guys. You can change the color. Very cool, awesome. Okay, guys, that's Canva Tip Weekly. Line it up. Have fun using those lines, using those tables. Get in here, make beautiful, organized things. Play around with dots and endpoints and tables. And can't wait to see you next week.